Let's explore free will, but using computer games. First, hard determinism. No actual free will, everything is predetermined. Conway's Game of Life shows this complexity, which is governed entirely by fixed, predictable rules. But look at these gliders. Do they make choices? Compatibilism, in a way, says yes. Even though predictable, these gliders have a form of agency, following the trajectory that is determined within the grid. True libertarian free will requires something external or non-material, something not on the XY grid that everything else is upon. This is impossible within Conway's Game of Life. Pac-Man, on the other hand, illustrates this perfectly. Look at the ghost movements. They come from external computer code. This code is entirely outside of the grid. It doesn't have X and Y coordinates. Pac-Man cannot directly observe it. For Pac-Man, these external decisions might as well be free will, as they are nearly impossible to predict 